This one I have here is a SanDisk Extreme USB 3.0, 64 gig, just a regular USB flash drive that you can plug into any one of your USB ports on your laptop or your computer. I'm actually using a Windows 11 computer for this. And the reason I'm making this video is because some of you have left me comments that you plug yours in and you can't find it popping up. So one thing you can do is include this icon on the desktop called this PC. And that's the easiest way to find your drive. So I'm gonna zoom in here little bit what you want to do is right click and then come down where it says personalize choose personalize and then in here choose the one that says themes and then down here it says desktop icon settings right here so you want to click on that and it opens up this box right here. It allows you to add these desktop icons to your desktop. So the one that you wanna add, you wanna put a check mark in the one that says, right there that says computer. Make sure you check mark that. And then what you wanna do is come down here and click apply. When you do that, you will find this icon called this PC then on your computer. So what I'm gonna do is click on that. Now in here is where you will find your USB thumb drive. So mine is right there, I'm gonna unplug it and then I'm gonna plug it back in so you guys can see that it's gonna pop up here. Another window will probably pop up too because mine's set to auto populate. Let me close out of this. But now you can see that it's right here and it says 59.5. Another question everyone always asks me is why does that not say 64? It's because the drive has a file system of its own and it's never gonna show you the full you know, amount of gigabytes. It's always gonna be a little less. So once you're all done, the best thing you can do is eject the USB drive properly. So down on the lower right corner here where the time is, I'm gonna go and click this little arrow. Right here is my um, little USB thumb drive. You can simply right click on it and click eject extreme. Mm -hmm and then you'll get this message, safe to remove hardware. So now you can actually pull it from the USB port and it should not corrupt your file system or anything like that. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button or share the video and I will see you guys in the next one.